How to fix 0xC004F200, non-genuine, after installing KB971033 in Windows 7 Professional or Windows 7 Enterprise. FYI, 1, the issue has been corrected on the backend Microsoft activation and validation servers. 2, check if you are using a volume Mac license. If so, the key usually carries up to 1500 activations. If you are still affected by this issue, try out the following tips, 1. 1.1 Check whether KB971033 is installed, try one of the following four methods. 1.1.1 Open the installed updates item in control panel. 1.1.2 Run the following Dism slash online slash get packages as administrator, and then look for Microsoft Windows Security Windows Activation Technologies Package 31 BF 3856 at 364E35 AMD 647.1.7600.16395 in the results. 1.1.3 The following command umicfe where hotfix id equals kb971033 as admin, and then look in the results for an indication that kb971033 is installed. 1.4 run the following command get hotfix id kb971033 in Windows PowerShell, and then look in the results for an indication that kb971033 is installed. 1.2 KB971033 is currently installed, use one of the following methods to remove the update. Note, restart your system after the KB971033 is removed. 1.2.1 in the installed updates item in control panel, control panel windows update view update history installed updates, right click update for Microsoft Windows, KB971033, and then select uninstall. 1.2.2 if you cannot uninstall windows update KB971033 via control panel uninstall tool. Run the following command we use slash uninstall slash kb971033 or dism slash online slash remove package slash package name Microsoft Windows Security Windows Activation Technologies Package 31 BF 3856 at 364E35 AMD 647.1.7600.16395 as administrator. 1.2.3 after kb971033 is uninstalled, or after it no longer appears as installed, note, you better temporarily prevent KB971033 from reinstalling automatically, http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2fjvqql. How to temporarily prevent a Windows update from reinstalling in Windows 10. Run the following commands as administrator to rebuild the activation related files, net stop SC config spwinatifa start equals disabled net stop sppsvc del percent winder percent backslash system 32 backslash 7b2963b0376b4970e1b732754p0.c7483456a2889-439d8115-60163 d005a0 slash adel percent winder percent backslash system 32 backslash 7b296fb0376 b4970 b0129 c450 e1 b 7382 7 5 p 1 c 7483456a289-439d8115-60163 d005a0 slash 
Service profiles backslash network service backslash app data backslash roaming backslash Microsoft backslash software protection platform backslash cache backslash cache dot dot net start SPPSVC script C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash SLMGR dot VBS slash IPK edition specific KMS client key script C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash SLMGR dot VBS slash 8 OSC config Spinatifa start equals demand note in the first script command, replace edition specific KMS client key with your own actual product key. HTTP colon slash slash bit dot ly slash 2 rnrl bp. 2 try the activation troubleshooter. 3. Click Start, right click Computer. Click Properties. Scroll down to Windows Activation. Click the link Change Product Key. Enter the product key located on the COA sticker attached to the bottom of your laptop or in the battery compartment. Click Next to activate over the Internet. 4. Try activating your Windows 7 tenths license via Microsoft Chat Support at http colon slash slash bit dot ly slash Or, if you have just replaced any hardware parts in your computer, Contact your PC maker slash manufacturer in the meantime. Last but not least, for Windows 7 Enterprises users, you better go on TechNet forums for more help, http colon slash slash bit.ly slash 2d48d7l.